In this video, you will learn the easy way to turn your t-shirt designs into notebooks for Kindle Direct Publishing and how to upload them on autopilot. I've been using Flying Upload KDP for this to upload over 10,000 designs over the course of a year. And with my refined method, which I'm going to show you in this video, it only took me about another five to 10 minutes per day to achieve this. Now you might be wondering why should you even do KDP if you're a t-shirt seller? And there's a few good reasons for this. First of all, you might not realize that many of your t-shirt designs would actually work really well as simple notebooks or journals and therefore they could create a new income stream for you. The next good reason is that since KDP is part of Amazon, you will get access to their massive customer base and traffic and therefore the potential to get sales on KDP is really, really high. Another thing you might not realize is that on KDP, there is no tiers or no tier system like on Merch by Amazon. So there's not really any limitations to how much you can upload. You can only do a thousand books per week, but no one's really going to hit that very easily. But yeah, so you can get started and upload all of your designs very quickly and you don't have to wait for ages to actually get a tier up. And probably one of my favorite reasons is that if you upload a book to KDP, it will automatically be published to over 10 international marketplaces on Amazon which is really handy to get a lot of reach out of just one design. So to get started, you'll obviously need a KDP account if you haven't got one already, and I will leave a link to the KDP website where you can sign up down below in the description. Next up, you would also need Flying Upload KDP to make this process as, as easy and as smooth as possible. And I will once again leave a link down below to their page. You can also get a free version where you can upload up to a hundred books a month, I believe. So that's perfect for getting started, following along with this tutorial and trying out the tool and getting used to it. If you do decide to get a subscription to Flying Upload KDP, then make sure to use my discount code for an additional 20% off your first month or your first year. And just in case you're wondering whether the tool is worth it, in my first year, I managed to get a thousand dollars in royalties for my Q4 sales. So that's why I believe it's worth the investment if you have a lot of designs, if you only have like 10, 20, 100 designs right now, yeah, it will take some time to, to pay back the subscription price. But if you're in this for the long run, you have a lot of designs or you're planning to create a lot of them, then it's definitely worth it. But I do still recommend testing out the free version before you pay out for a subscription. So once you've installed Flying Upload, whether it's the free version or the paid for version and opened up the tool, this is the screen you should come to. You might have to enter your email address, password and license keys up here and then just click KDP Upload. Now, just to explain this interface, and the edit window is going to be where you spend most of your time to prepare the listings. The upload window is where we'll go once everything is ready and prepared, and then we just hit publish and let Flying Upload do the work. So there's a few settings or options that we need to go through um, before we can get going. This is going to be like a one-off thing. You don't need to do this every time before uploading, um, but I'm going to just show you like the most important settings. So um, hit options up here, go to settings. Then you've got the choice between dark mode and light mode. I personally prefer dark mode. Make sure that translation to English, German, French, etc. everything is ticked. And um, what's very important uh, is this option down here, which says automatically import flying upload XML files. Now I would recommend ticking this box for anyone who uses flying upload for print on demand because it's going to save you a ton of time. If you don't use flying upload print on demand, if you don't use that tool, then this function won't work. So that's it for this page. You can configure your um, login details right here if you want to have the tool log you in automatically. Manuscripts, this is going to be important. Um, basically, I'm going to show you a page where you can create a manuscript very quickly and then just drop it into this section right here because we need that for uploading notebooks. So this page right here will be linked in the description. It is bookbolt.io and uh, we've got an interior generator right here. The interior of our notebook is basically what the pages will look like. You could do blank pages if you wanted to. You can do college ruled journal, um, it, it really depends on what your target audience is going to be. But um, with my method, just keeping it as simple as possible, just having a design on the front 
and some lines in the paper for a notebook or journal and we'll select this option right here and then at the top just select bleed change the paperback option to six by nine which is a very popular format and page count i think the the default or the most common one here is 120. it depends um, how you want to do it uh, the more pages the more expensive the, the printing costs are on kdp and sort of your your royalty margins get a bit lower say if you had 100 pages you'd probably get a few extra cents per sale i don't know how much it exactly means but just so you get an idea what sort of impact that has but the standard is 120 pages i believe so uh, once you've figured that out just click download this might open as like a pdf preview and as you can see we've just got 120 pages of blank lined paper and if you're happy with that then hit this download button at the top. And then just head back into this manuscript section right here in Flying Upload KDP and just drag and drop the file that you just downloaded, the PDF, into here. The settings on the right should all be like this by default and that works just fine. I have this on auto detect and then hit save. And the last step to getting set up with Flying Upload KDP is a very important one is creating a profile which is going to save us hours and hours of work later down the line and to do that head over to edit and then just find any random design on your pc and drag and drop it into this left hand section it doesn't matter what the design is it doesn't have an impact on our profile at all and now we need to fill in a few things right here so we need this subtitle which is going to depend on your manuscript. So let's say you selected the six by nine, like I recommended. So just write that first. Then you could put notes for notebook. You could also put a comma, say notebook as well. Journal, just a few keywords for what people might be looking for to find your specific interior type. It could also be a diary. Then at the end, just put the amount of pages that you selected. So in my case, 120 page or pages if you selected a different number here for the manuscript make sure that it matches your number and that's it for the subtitle then we want to head down to author now this depends on your on your name or your company name i would just recommend using the same author for every book what i usually just do is my company name here so let's say you call yourself neo designs just as an example put that into there then middle you can leave blank and last name i would recommend putting publishing um, this usually works for me because it's sort of like a, a book brand name you can't just put anything into there um, sometimes you will get like a, an email from kdp saying the author information is incorrect or is confusing so just use publishing that should probably work if it doesn't work you have to play around maybe look on amazon kdp what sort of names other people are using for their brand and try out different options. Then we come down here to the uh, manuscript. So select that, it should be the 120 bleed option, six by nine journal, if you selected the same settings as me. For the interior type, select black and white with white paper. Bleed settings, we need a bleed selected right here because we have that selected for our interior as well. And to cover finish, you can keep that matte you can say glossy and um, it just makes a difference in terms of how Amazon KDP is going to print your journal. Over here on the right hand side and um, we need the cover type to be a paperback and then make sure to tick low content right here at the bottom which just means that there's no content in the book really there's just lines and then another important step is the text color and cover color. Now the default is a black cover and white text this is the example over here which obviously would work for your your t-shirt designs which are optimized for black t-shirts or dark t-shirts um, so i would recommend having one profile with this color setting and um, another profile with the opposite where the text color if we select this right here is black hit ok and the cover color if we select that is white um, which as we can see works better for the example design right here for this profile I'm just going to do it with white background once once you're done You would need to make another one with black and the last step would be to configure the prices now if you click edit all then you can see right here there's lots of different marketplaces and uh, different currencies different prices I'm just going to quickly fill this out and you can then copy the prices. I usually set the prices to have a mar uh, to have a royalty 
of about two dollars per book per notebook and then once a notebook gets a sale i will bump the price up a bit so it's like three or four dollars royalty right so i've quickly filled in the prices right here just copy them one by one if you want and if you're wondering why some of them are sort of wonky numbers and not really rounded that's because um, kdp for different marketplaces they add tax on top of uh, your price that you set and then with the tax added it turns out to be 6.99 once you've filled in your pricing just click off this window and then head over to profile at the top go to profile manager and say save as profile and next up what you want to do is head back to profiles go to profile manager open profile manager and as you can see it's saved the profile as the file name right here christmas coffee so whatever your design is called you can edit the name right here where it says rename and we could say profile white background just so you always know um, which one to select and then you could hit OK. And if you wanted to also have a second option now with a different text color and cover color, you need a separate design. All the other details should be the same, just change the coloring. So now we're moving on to the interesting part, which is going to be more of your daily workflow with the KDP tool. There's going to be two methods right here. I'll show you the fast method first, and then the slow method after that. For the fast method, you need to unfortunately already be using the flying upload print on demand tool because if you've used it before you know that um, when you input your listing data meaning the title description tags that data gets saved on your pc on your device and that means once we drag those same designs into the flying upload kdp tool the data will just be automatically transferred over and you save yourself a lot of time so if we jump back into the KDP tool right here, if you have some designs that you've already used in the POD, Flying Upload tool, just drag and drop them into this section over here. And as you can see, the title, description, and keywords down here are instantly populated with your data. The next step is going to be, you just click on the first design and then hit the downwards arrow because that way all of these designs are going to quickly have their listings populated once you've done that for all of them as we can see there's now still the gaps for the subtitle category author and all of this at the bottom isn't configured so the way to do that for all of our designs in one go is to head over to profiles click profile white background and then down here select all listings and hit ok now if we flick through these again you can see that all of these fields have been filled in except for the category. The reason why I left the category blank in the profile is because you're going to have different categories for all sorts of different designs that you import into here. In this case, we've got drinks and Christmas. So let's think of some categories that would work. Let's, for example, type in coffee. And as we can see, we've got beverages, coffee and tea. That definitely works for our niche. And um, another one could be Christmas related. So let's just type that in. And as we can see, religion, holidays, Christmas and Advent. You only need to have one category configured for this upload to work, but you can also have two and that might help you get found more easily. And now to apply this category selection to all of our other designs in one go as well, head over to features, advanced KDP, categories to all, and then just click OK yes and once again you can see if we flick through every designer has the same category and i've done this here for nine designs but you could literally have like a hundred designs in this field on the left and it will take you no more than five minutes to quickly flick through them enter some categories update the profile and you're done and it's literally ready now for upload and you could go back click the upload section and click start right here. I'm going to show you a bit more about the upload itself in a minute once we're done with the slow method as well for all the people that do not have a flying upload print on demand subscription. Basically, once again, you need to drag and drop your designs into this tool. And uh, for you, there's not going to be the title, description, everything transferred automatically. So you need to start off with that and basically fill it in. So. Um, let's say our first design, we'll just call this fueled by coffee and then put a bit of a description. I'm not going to spend long on this right now because it's just for the sake of this tutorial to have something filled in or a nice latte. 
I don't know. And then for the keywords, you want to um, type in a few different things like coffee, Christmas, Xmas, latte, maybe hot drink just some things like that. So fill in a few of the keywords. I'd usually spend a lot more time on the description, but once you've done that and see that all of the other designs are still blank, or it's the first one we've now got a bit of something to work with. And the next step will be to transfer this data onto our other designs to speed up the process a bit. And to do that, we'll head to features, bulk copy. You need to have the first design selected, then hit okay and continue. And now, as you can see, all of these designs have the same title description and keywords. So what you now need to do next, ideally, is to go through and change the title accordingly and obviously change the rest if necessary. You don't need to change this for every design if it's in the same niche, but the title should be a bit different. So here it's fa la la latte, uh, Christmas, coffee gift, something like that. Then move on to the next one and maybe use the sentence that's being used here, like dear Santa, just bring coffee. You're going to want to do that for basically each one of your listings, which is why this method takes quite a lot longer. You don't have to change the title every time, but it is definitely a better practice rather than just spamming the same exact listing data over and over again. You might occasionally also want to change the keywords if the design is a bit different. Like here, there's some cute sort of kawaii designs, which you could then add down here, for example. But once you're done, then it's basically the same process as before with the fast method in the sense that you now need to apply the profile. So head to profile, click profile white background and select all listings, hit OK. And now we've got everything filled in except for the categories, which once again, we'll put coffee and Christmas and then head over to features, advanced KDP categories to all hit OK and yes. And now all of the designs are once again ready for upload. So once your designs are ready, go back with this blue arrow, head over to upload, and then make sure that this box is ticked right here and then press start. And now a new window will open, a browser window with your KDP account. You will probably still have to log in and authenticate yourself. But once that's done, as you can see, Flying Upload is going to do the work for you. It's selecting all the categories right here, um, inputting the listing data, uh, the prices, etc., and doing that for each one of the listings without you having to do anything. You can leave this running in the background and just come back a few hours later and the process will be done. And a few more important things to note about the upload. I would recommend that you upload a maximum of 50 to 100 books per day. I wouldn't go over that number because you can only publish up to a thousand designs or books per week. And you want to try and stay below that number quite a bit um, because if you get too close to it or if, if you go over a thousand a week, then you might get your account suspended. Another tip I've got for you is doing some test uploads. First of all, like just upload two or three things as a test and don't just jump into it with like hundreds of designs because there's a two to three day review process for all the things that you upload and you might get an email from KDP uh, saying that there's an error with your title or with, uh, I don't know, your description, your settings, and you might have to go and change a few things. If you get stuck here, if you do get errors and you're not sure what you have to do, you can also contact the Flying Upload support because they'll be really helpful and try and get those errors fixed for you. And another quick tip, if you get stuck and you're not sure how to use the tool, you can head over to help and click tutorials, which should then bring you to this page right here, where you can click KDP upload in the top right corner. And as you can see, you've got lots of different topics right here and tutorials that you can watch about those topics to learn about how different settings work and what other features the KDP tool has to offer. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you will have success with your KDP business. If you still have any questions, just leave them down below in the comments. And if you want to find out whether I think upload automation is worth it from over two years of experience, then make sure to check out this video where I go through the pros and cons of flying upload.